Welcome to Ring Theory. The Witch King of Angmar, the Lord of the Nazgul, the greatest of the nine. He was one of the most feared villains in all of Tolkien's writings. He established the realm of Angmar in the Third Age, stabbed Frodo on Weathertop, broke the gate at Minas Tirith, and killed King Theoden of Rohan. One of the most feared and powerful beings in all of Middle-earth. So, how was he defeated? The Witch King's identity is shrouded in mystery, but we do have some clues to his heritage. When Sauron recovered his Rings of Power in the Second Age, he gave nine to mortal men. Three were said to be of Numenorean heritage, of which one of these was most likely the Witch King. He was also most likely a powerful sorcerer. Like all of the nine, it is said that in life, the rings enable them to have an extended lifespan, gain power and wealth. Other than that, not much is known of his life, other than the obvious, he eventually faded away and became a ring wraith in the Shadow World, bound to Sauron and the One Ring. As a wraith under the sorcery of Sauron, the Witch King of Angmar was invulnerable to conventional weapons. All blades that attempted to strike his body would shatter and the wielder would be severely poisoned. So how was he killed? It's not quite as simple as we see in the films, with Merry stabbing him in the back of his leg and Eowyn stabbing him directly in his headless hood. There are two main nuances that the films missed out on. Here's the passage from the books. A sword rang as it was drawn. Do what you will, but I will hinder it if I may. Hinder me, thou fool. No living man may hinder me. But no living man am I. You look upon a woman, Eowen I am, Eamon's daughter. You stand between me and my lord and kin. Be gone, if you be not deathless, for living or dark and dead, I will smite you if you touch him. The winged creature screamed at her, but the ring wraith made no answer and was silent, as if in sudden doubt. It is clear here that the Witch King has a moment of doubt when Eowyn reveals herself to be a woman. But why? Prophecy. Many years earlier in the Third Age, when the Witch King fled from Angmar after his forces had been defeated in the Battle of Fornost, the great elven warrior Glorfindel made the prophecy. Do not pursue him. He will not return to this land. Far off yet is his doom, and not by the hand of man will he fall. The Witch King was undoubtedly aware of this prophecy. He most likely thought it may be Glorfindel himself, or at least an elf, that would slay him. But after Eowyn reveals herself, it's clear, with his sudden doubt, that he fears it could be her to fulfil the prophecy. Eowyn, just like in the films, was able to impressively decapitate the Witch King's fell beast. She was then struck by the Witch King's mace, dropping her to the ground, breaking her shield arm. Again, just like in the films, as the Witch King was closing in for the kill, the heroic hobbit Merry stabbed his leg, mortally wounding him. How this differs from the books is the detail of exactly what Merry stabbed him with. Way back in the Fellowship of the Ring, when the four hobbits had barely left the Shire, they were attacked by a white in the Barrow Downs and imprisoned. Luckily, they were saved by Tom Bombadil. After driving off the white, Tom discovered some treasure, and in it, four daggers of Westerness, weapons used by the Dúnedain in the wars against Angmar. They were weapons specifically crafted to fight against the Ringwraiths, he gifted them to the four hobbits who carried them on their journeys, without knowing, of course, the power that they were carrying. So, unbeknownst to Merry, when he stabbed the Witch King in nothing but a desperate attempt to help his friend, he actually struck a blow that served to lower the Witch King's defences. The blade still broke, as all weapons that struck him did, but it left him vulnerable to attack. In that moment, Eowyn managed to rise to her feet and stabbed the Witch King in the place where his face should have been. Her sword broke, there was a horrible scream, and he was defeated. Thus, Glorfindel's prophecy was fulfilled, as the Witch King had been defeated by a woman and a hobbit. He was defeated by a mix of bravery from both Eowyn and Merry, 
but also a huge slice of luck with Merry carrying the dagger all the way to Minas Tirith. Thanks for watching Ring Theory. On this channel I will be focusing on anything and everything to do with the Lord of the Rings. Tolkien lore from the books, the original trilogy and the new TV show. If you liked the video and want to hear more, please drop me a like and hit the subscribe button below.